Okay, welcome back. To begin this tutorial, we're going to have to create a master. Now, the master is the body that we want to turn into a Second Life avatar. Now, ever since Second Life allowed people to import mesh into Second Life, everybody has been using 3D generated, um, what do you call it, 3D generated characters uh, as avatars. Now, the problem why these didn't work out is because they were lacking the Second Life UVs. And no matter how much anybody had ever tried to remap that damn body, you could never get the UVs just right where it would be up there with Second Life skins. So, they tried to make it like, hey, these are the new skin textures that people are going to use, and it just never bit. If it wasn't a Second Life skin UV, nobody wanted it. So, in this tutorial, we're going to try to get you guys over that pitfall and create, uh, generate a character and then turn it into a Second Life um, avatar, at least this type. Another issue that was uh, a problem was the neck, because the Second Life neck is a pain in the ass, because um, if the head, uh, it has a really weird line around it, like a edge loop around there where the top of the neck, and there's a little dip in the middle of it, and that's where the head connects. So if you don't have that perfectly aligned, even if it's off by a little bit, no matter how well you rig it, there will always be a tiny gap in here. And that is something that irritates the F out of everybody. So that's another pitfall we're going to be uh, showing you how to get over. So with that said, we're going to move on and actually create our shell. I'm just basically calling it a shell uh, or master. To be honest with you, this stuff kind of reminds me of my old job when I worked at that recast factory for dolls. <laughs> We're basically just going to recast a, a model and make it Second Life. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. Alright, so for our um, for this tutorial, the character generator I like to use is Death Studio. It's pretty much what everybody uses next to Make Human and um, Poser. So I'm just going to show you Des because it has more sliders and stuff in there and it's one I like the most. Also one thing I found out later on after just having to use this um, is that you have to buy the sliders and morphs. It's like dang, they're like the, the ads they show for this is like the ultimate 3D character creator and yeah they don't tell you you got to buy that stuff. But, of course, we found a way around that. We have some links and resources there. So, if you don't have the muns to buy the sliders, you can explore other options <laughs> and get them that way. Uh, but, I bought a few morphs, and I don't really know which one, what they're called. I just bought a bunch of them while they were on sale, and I spent like $30. So then I found out about the exploring website and I'm like, my money. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use this as our base for our character. I'm using the Genesis 8 basic female. So basic female. And we're going to wait for it to load in. It takes a minute depending on how fast your computer is. My computer is a potato, so, you know, it takes a little bit longer. Um, so this is the avatar that we have used by look familiar, huh? Um, and, um, yeah, this is a very basic female. You would click on it and then you would go over to the side and then you would play with your sliders and you would give her, um, any kind of features that you would like. Now, uh, these are pre-made ones. Let me see what's this. This is bodybuilder details. So it gives you more muscle details in there if you want that um there's uh where's the other stuff that i got you got weight because i bought that one so you can make yourself a, a thick lady um there's pear shaped which is like if she was skinny and still had the hips and the default second life shape that's popular now no actually um there was one called the honey i think it's in here honey and that one is pure Second Life. Look. <laughs> I think uh, that one's just in weight. So they do have stuff that allows you to control the thickness of your stuff. Now, doesn't this body look familiar? Like it was almost reborn or something? Uh, reborn or something? With a big butt. 
So you can tell by playing with some of these sliders that this is what a number of uh, body developers in Second Life actually do. So you'll be like right there in the curb. Alright, but to save time, energy, and money, because goodness knows I would be here all day trying to make an avatar, I'm just going to use the very default D, like, straight out of the box, Genesis Lady. So no frills for me. You guys can play around and create your character if you want to, but this video would easily turn into one of those, um, two-hour videos that we used to do back in the day, and that was just me fiddling around with sliders. So once we have our shell, I gotta stop calling the shell master. Once we have our master, we're just gonna export her out. So once you finish playing with your sliders and you're ready to export, you can export it as an FBX by going to File, Export. Um, I don't know what we're gonna name this one. I'm gonna put it in our project folder too. Um, lady, hit save. And then you want to make sure the output options are FBX 2014, make sure figures is checked. And down here at the bottom, if you can see, will tell you all the stuff that you are exporting out. Wait, I almost forgot. We need something really important. We need clothes. <laughs> um, so once you go fiddling around with Dez, you will find some clothes and something for your avatar to wear. I like to go in here and go through that basic wear. <clears throat> that basic wear. Oh, I'm in men. That's why. I'm like, when do the women start getting tidy whities How progressive. <laughs> okay, you want to go in here and you want to find a basic outfit for them to wear. I just go with the shirt and underwear. The t-shirt the and panties? Not t-shirt and panties. The bra and panties. That way, when you make your avatar and we convert this to Second Life, they have a basic outfit for your characters to wear. That way, your people aren't just standing around naked waiting for you to make clothes. And be like, hey, look, I gave y'all drawers. You got to make your own. You know, good starting point. So put on some clothes, and then we go here and we go to export. So file, export, uh, project folder, lady export it here as 14 make sure everything that you want to export is exported and then you say accept and then you wait for it to shoot out it's going to take a minute so I guess I will see you over in blender when we go and import it in so see you in blender 